Now to high school hoops, AAA's ninth ranked Austin Packers in town tonight to take on the Century Panthers in a matchup of four and one teams. First half, the Packers push the tempo. Okay, okay, throws it up to Emmanuel Mannion. Austin up eight. Later in the half, more Packers. Tegan Hovland drops it off to Victor Idris, who takes it all the way to the rack, but Century would try to get back in this one. Jaden Wysocki hits Carter Ponslet, who gets the and one, but the Packers were too good in this one later. Some great ball movement finds OK for the three ball. Austin beats Century 56 to 49. Down in Stourville, Double A's fourth ring Tigers played host to the Bombers of Cannon Falls. Will Cheddar was ready to go from the opening tip. He's going to momentarily lose the ball before laying it in. Tigers up too early, but Cannon Falls had the answer a few possessions later. Colton Leschke connects from downtown Bombers up one later in the half. It's the most lethal move in southeastern Minnesota basketball. Will Cheddar with the spin. He had 29 in the game. Tigers were rolling. Then later, Nolan Steer steps into a three ball. It's nothing but the bottom. Stourville beats Cannon Falls 59 to 36. Now to hockey, the Century Panthers welcome the Owatonna Huskies to Graham Arena. We'll pick it up second period. Huskies up 2-0. It's about to be more. Take a look at this redirect from Tanner Stendhal. A sensational goal. Huskies up 3-0. Later in the period, the Panthers cut into the deficit. Aiden Sweep passes it to Isaiah Huber. And hip, hip, Jorge scores. Century down 3-1. Still in the period, Owatonna restores its three-goal lead. Aaron bangs, bangs one in. Pretty goal. Huskies now up 4-1, but they weren't done yet. Still in the period, Zach Kubacek scores on the backhander. Owatonna blows out Century 9-2. Last but not least, Dodge County hosting Simley tonight at the Ice Palace. First period, no score. The Wildcats light the lamp first. Off the face off the puck finds Brendan Waleski, who puts it away. DC up 1-0. Later in the period, DC doubled its advantage. Brody Lamb comes up with a steal. There's no stopping him. He takes the goalie to Dangle City, DC. Up 2-0 still in the period. Wildcats now up 2-1, but Simley ties the game. J.R. Kubke tickles the twine. All of a sudden, we're tied at 2, but the Wildcats have Brody Lamb still in the first. The future Golden Gopher scores from way downtown. He had a hat trick in this one. Dodge County wins 6-4. to four. 